In this video, I'm gonna show you the four different ways you can default your reports to today. So without using DAX, using DAX measures, using DAX calculated columns, and also how you can use slicers and have this slicer to be set always to today. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanana and welcome to the Solutions Abroad the YouTube channel where I focus on teaching beginners the wonderful world that is Power BI. I upload new videos every week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So imagine you have a report that automatically refreshes on a daily basis. You build your visuals but then you realize that Every day the day goes by, the filters that you set on your visuals stay the same date as when you first publish it. Let me show you an example. So here we have a very simple Power BI uh, desktop report that I've created, which just has some data uh, dated. So I'll show you uh, in the data view here. We have an orders table, which just has some different orders on different days and it's got different prices for different days and you want to report the order dates uh, based on the current day today so the current day today is the 20th of june um, so we want to get the six, 60 pounds price and the order id of 20. so when you go back to the visuals view here and let's say we want to add here as a filter and let's change it to a list and so let's say you put it on the 20th of June, which is fine. And it gives you those results that you want. But then you'll realize that when you save this and you publish it and you come back to it the next day, you'll see that this filter is still on the 20th of June. But actually you want it to be on the 21st of June, uh, which is basically whatever the day you're looking at, right? So how do you do that? There are a couple of simple ways you can do it. So the first, the simplest way that you can do it is implicitly uh, through the visuals. So let me just delete this. And so now you have the aggregates here, the total price and the order counts, by the way, are just uh, some implicitly aggregated data. So you just, so the total price just sums up the prices overall. And then it, this one just counts the number of orders. Now, in order to filter this, uh, we'll need to drag the order dates into our filters on this page section here. So basically just filters everything that is in this page. And instead of selecting a date here, uh, which normally you would just select the 20th of June here, instead you wanna go to relative dates, is in the last, change it to is in this day. So what that does is you'll see that it filters on the 20th of June but because this is a relative date it means that if this report gets opened tomorrow it will filter on the 21st of june and uh, not 20th so that makes it super convenient when it comes to working or defaulting your reports to today second way that you can do it is explicitly through dax measures now you've probably seen me do it in the past before um, and i've explained extensively what is the difference between implicit and explicit measures so i won't cover that again um, but it's essentially a way for you to uh, calculate things uh, writing without having to use the filter context here uh, in order to get the numbers that you want. So with the DAX measures you say exactly what you want, uh, which days you want to get and how you want to sum it. So it's pretty easy. So let's start by creating a new measure here. So we'll click new measure and here we will do we'll type total price today. That'll be the name of my measure. So simply what we want to do uh, is we want to sum the price and it's exactly what it's doing here in the total price so remember we were doing it implicitly by aggregating it here uh, but instead we're doing it explicitly um, in the DAX expression here but then we want to filter this to today so instead of just doing the sum we need to put a filter context here and as you remember to, in order to put a filter context, we need to wrap this in a calculate uh, function. So I'll just cut that, uh, type calculate, uh, open and close. We'll put it in the expressions there. And in the filter context, we will say if the order date is equals to today. Now today, this function always returns the date that is when the report is run. So it means that it kind of simulates the relative date here uh, 
uh, except that we're doing it explicitly in the uh, in the measure so if I hit enter you'll see now you have the measure total price today created as a as a DAX measure here now let me just copy here just copy another card here and let's put the total price today here now you see I mean besides the um, the currency icon it's pretty much the same value but you'll notice the difference when for example I remove the filters here so you see it doesn't, doesn't matter what the filter is applied on the page itself because you've explicitly told the DAX measure to calculate sum up all the total price of the orders table and only get today it doesn't matter what filter context you have on the page itself you will always get the same value so let's try to do the same on the order count it's pretty simple so again new measure total orders today and then again we'll do calculates expression we want to do account order ID it doesn't matter which column and then the filter context is if the order date is today I think that's it so when it loads we just copy it uh, change it to total orders today and now you see you always get the total orders today um, regardless of the filter on the page the next way that you can do it is actually through uh, DAX again but instead we're going to create a calculated column in the calendar table it's the least efficient method because it adds extra data to your reports but I'll show you why we want to use this um, because we're going to reuse it for a different uh, solution later so we'll go to our calendar table here and if you are not familiar with this kind of calendar table it's a uh, calculated table that we created we generate in order for us to do some time intelligence calculations in our data sets now it's not really necessary but it's best practice to always have have an explicit calendar table I covered it in a separate video so check it out if you haven't yet but all this calendar table is doing if we go to the model view here is it just creates a relationship between the dates uh, and the order date in the orders table so basically all the calculations we can do on the calendar table um, which will affect the orders uh, table now as I said we're gonna have to create a calculated column within our calendars table here so we'll go to the data view here and we're gonna create a new column here so that's the button there we'll create a new column called is today and because it's a scalar we can just use the normal if statement here so we'll say that if um, if the date is equals to today so we'll reuse the same uh, function over here <clears throat> so we'll say if today then one otherwise it's zero so pretty simple right so now if we uh, have a look at this and let's just filter the one you'll see that it's always just getting us that first of uh, which is the 20th of June uh, so what that means is that we can reuse it here again in our filter context now instead of using the dates you can actually use this calculated column as a way to filter so if we do uh, is today right here and we do basic and you always filter to one it will always filter your visuals to today which is uh, calculated through the calculated column itself so now let's go through the last scenario I wanted to cover for today so imagine you want to show the current uh, status today so you want to show the current price today the current order count today uh, and you want it to default that way and at the same time you want to give your users the ability to filter or use a slicer to filter the different dates that they want to look at now as you know with the slicers I mean you can select the date that you want here but there is no way for you to just default the different days automatically without having to re-click it and change the days yourselves so how do we resolve this problem now we're actually gonna reuse the calculated column that we created um, in order to help with this problem so let me show you so the first thing that we want to solve in this slicer as you can see is that it's in ascending order now that's a pretty simple fix so all you need to do is just sort it to descending right because it's 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 a 
date so you'll see that it's sorting us but because we're using the calendar table here it's giving us all the dates in the calendar table not just the dates that have an order in them so we'll fix it shortly so let's go through it together so the next change that we'll need to do is we'll need to change the calculated column a little bit so now if you remember and if I just open the data view here um, you'll see that all it does is if it's today it gives us one but if it's not it gives us zero now let's say we want to have everything else below or not in the future so everything in the past so let's say if the calendar date is not equals to but let's say if the calendar date is less than today so you'll see now we have that one and then the zeros are in the future so you see um, actually the 20th of June is today so we need to change that to less than or equals to today so that it includes today as well so let's just check that really quickly so you see here now we have the 20th of June as well and it's included in that so now what we can do we can come back here and make sure that uh, we use the is filter on the filter page and we get just the ones it's pretty easy right so now you'll see that you only have you don't get any dates in the past you only always have the most latest one here but now we still have the same problem which is how do we default this slicer to today now you can't tag the dates individually to be defaulted to a specific slicer um, especially if it's the slicer is a day but what we can do is create another calculated column which we'll use in order to filter this correctly so what do I mean by that so let's go uh, and let's add a new column here so let's add a new column we'll do is current it's just another calculated column and then we'll do the same thing so if uh, if it's today if the date is today then we'll do if it's today then what we want to do is give it today otherwise we want to just get the date so what we're trying to do with this calculated column is that we're trying to show the today to have a today and then everything else will show us calendar uh, days. However, because we're trying to add dates in a text column, we just want to just add or convert this into a text. And the easiest way is to create it like this. So now you'll see the dates here, but then you'll see that when we go to June, you will see one there that is today. So pretty easy. And we wanna just make sure that this is sorted accordingly so we'll just highlight that um, go to the column tools sort by and then sort by date so just, just make sure that if you use that as a uh, as a visual it will sort by the date column here so now instead of using the date column here as our slicer we'll actually use this uh, is current here so we'll change it there and all we need to do uh, and you see it, it has the same issue so let's let's just do it redo it again so sort descending once more and now you just click today so every day or we go, when you go to the next day this will change because it's a calculated column and it will always default this page to today so that's a very simple way for you to uh, default your slicers to today and at the same time give your users the ability to slice to different days that they want and that's really it for this video i hope it helped you understand how easy it is to start uh, defaulting your power bi reports today using those four different methods that i showed you i've set up a patreon page where you can support the channel get exclusive perks like early access to these videos access to all the demo files that uh, we've created in this channel and also some credits on the videos so uh, here's the list of the patients for for this month and if you want your name in this list go and support us get in touch using the social media links that are included in the description box below and thank you so much for watching guys see you again on the next one